Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I've managed to keep everyone alive so far on the quarry. We are on chapter nine. <whistles> it's long. Have you been there before? <clears throat> the scrapyard? The matriarch. Nah, just seen the sign on my way to camp. So that's interesting. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road. No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was, was that? Yeah, that's a great question. Let's just keep moving. Okay. <clears throat> So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. Hmm. Heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Oh, nice. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. That's going to be handy for later. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Ew, <laughs> come on, this way. <laughs> Ooh, steampunk's back in. <laughs> Stupid sentence. <coughs> Abigail? Who's Abigail? Oh, Abby, I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your Whatever is happening right now. Oh, I, don't know. <clears throat> I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> oh, this situation would be so much different if Abby were dead. Easy, ma. Laura. Put me down, you old witch. Blow your fucking head up. Ah, bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. I still see shadows. Gotcha. 
you'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me. I'm better. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I knew something like that was going to happen eventually. I knew something like that was going to happen. Eventually. Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, oh, wait. Oh. There is no wait, waking up from that! Uh, Wait, wait, wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cool. Yeah. Didn't give me much a choice. No more party. No more protecting anyone, Travis. I see why he needs to get bit later on now. I see why. I see why. Fuck. Okay. Alright, that's okay. Alright, that's not good. He's gonna die of blood loss, though. He's gonna do it. Just do it. Pull it. That's not the choice you want to make, but. Okay. No. Give me the knife as a weapon. I would recommend the knife as a weapon. nothing in there. Why do you people have nothing? Haley's letter. Haley Haggis' letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. I didn't get to read it, but <clears throat> I don't know what it means. But it's evidence, so and we're pocketing it. You're telling me I can't pick up that knife and use it as a weapon. I feel like that is highly important for what we are going to do, or what we what we, what we need. Even though we're probably definitely not strong enough to hold it right now. It is definitely a weapon of... 
I built. <coughs> I'm going to be bleeding out, and he's going to see the blood underneath of the... ...closet, I bet. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Why do you look like... I can't remember if it's a Left 4 Dead survivor or who. I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> running <laughs> Oh, it could have been bad. <coughs> Why in God's name would that be a thing I can do? And why would I want to do it? I bet there's an achievement for that. Playing the piano. Hunter's trophy. Laura stole the police car to escape and ditched it in the lake. Oh, okay, I see why. I see now. C. Hackett and T. Hackett. Chris Hackett and their brothers. Previous sheriff was killed in a fire six years ago, so presumably this belonged to him. Travis must have succeeded him. Travis has used his power as sheriff to help his family cover the tracks ever since the fire six years ago. <clears throat> the fire of Haran Sacrum since, uh, six years ago took the lives of many, and it was rumored to have been arson. No wonder it made front page. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris. Tried to hide it by, uh, by not reporting that they didn't show up for camp. 
The drawing matches the letter found in the fire pit. Kids of the scariest imaginations. There are bears around here? <laughs> it, goes, it goes back around. There are bears here. I like the way how that's not an option for me to do now. Just playing the piano. I'm really sad now. I really wanted that. I would have really wanted that achievement. To play the piano. <clears throat> Only really one way for me to go. Oh, looks like something important. <clears throat> Hackett family tree. The Hackett family ha ha have been around for quite some time. The, uh, their roots running deep in the local area. Is there a th Three brothers, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're three brothers. I don't know what that was. Why was that important? These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. We've got to uh, we got to come back sooner or later. It'll be uh, it'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. Okay, so we found we figured out that the cages are meant for Chris, Kaylee, and um, the brother to keep them from getting out during the nights at which uh, they would hurt people. Why did that fail miserably now? What happened? I don't know how that failed. I don't know why that failed so much. One. And two, the white wolf. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. It's not a character we've seen before, I don't think, right? Why would it be? <clears throat> The sun card. Let's go. I got another one. <clears throat> Almost a ten. The sun. Uh, the sun. The vitality of, of a new day. It's still time to wake up in the warmth of night. Survived. Your choices. Your actions. Your life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise again. <sighs> Hi, crow. I actually like crows. I think crows are cool. They're intelligent creatures too. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, uh, how do you do it? The window. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, if I would have left him in there, that would have been so bad. <laughs> Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! 
shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee. And she killed your mother, too. I don't know. I don't know what the space for error is on that, but I ain't risking it, dude. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stab me! You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can... You can help me. No, man. You're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. There's Max, now you. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you <clears throat> let me bite you. What? 
If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's, and your friend's, too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. I don't see an option. I really don't see it. I don't, I don't see another option. I don't see... It's your call <clears throat> for now. So we doing this or no? Let's go! <laughs> Do it. Intended for you. No, just just accept it. It's it's we're, we're full in on it now. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. <clears throat> Bobby? Fuck. Footbought me. Footbought me, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the blood thing. Nice achievement. Good one, me. If it means keeping somebody alive, I think it's worth the risk. Back to the Haggis scrapyard with Dylan. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, so, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts, just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. <clears throat> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. You're gonna lose your other hand to... <laughs> what's it called? Anything the by rust or whatever? Not yet. Keep looking. <clears throat> Uh, so tinnitus is the thing that causes hearing damage when loud noises are too close to your ear, or you listen to loud or listen to noises that are too loud. It's um something else. Uh, it's a shot. Shoot, I can't remember what it's called. Um. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, man. Evidence, real quick. Hold on. Here, what button my evidence is? I want to make sure I have most of it. Yeah, Kaylee's letter was the chapter 9 evidence. I'm missing chapter 5 and 10, which makes me really sad. It really does. I know where everything else is. It's just chapter 9 and 10 I'm missing evidence for. 
I don't know what's back there. It's possible it's a clue. Um, there's just too big of open spaces for too much stuff to look at, you know? That's my opinion on it. Like, there's just too much to look at. And too little time to look at it. I bet that is where I need to go. Or that place is where I need to go. That's That looks like a rotor arm, so... I'm gonna look around first. Before I do anything. Do not press the button. Oh. <clears throat> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up, Clint. Let's go. We're gonna end up in a documentary. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. She's just now realizing that. <laughs> I like the way how your other hand was placed on the table like you could place it on the table. Oh, it's funny. <clears throat> Body damage. Jesus. Uh, scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy, to say the least. There must be something here that. Uh... Okay, so T said that's the that's the car that uh, they brought in. That was quote unquote wreckage, but who's T? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys <clears throat> are cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. Back up the stairs. <clears throat> um, nothing here for me to look at. There. Just regular auto parts stuff, you know. Not even gonna scrap it or look at it or any of that. <clears throat> I wonder where Dylan would be if he was still infected. Because there's probably, I bet there was, there was definitely an option that says, no, I will not cut your arm off. Um, uh, which is an option that we could have chosen. But didn't. I'm gonna go through this tight little airway because I think it's. Funny. I hate how there's multiple paths here. That that too. I hate that too. Like I feel like I'm always missing out on information because I'm going the wrong way. And that should never be a thing. Like I mean, I understand that you want people to play through the game multiple times, but like if there's vital information behind one pathway that isn't there in the other, it kind of feels whack. And Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. <clears throat> I think Brian's okay. Do you think that character that left with the guy or with the person with the shotgun is okay? A double with a shotgun. That ended up accidentally murdering somebody in a tussle because they decided that uh, they were going to surround us. And I don't even know who the bad guy is there on that one. I'm not going to lie because we did break in. Um, but, you know. I'm, it's not like I'm the law or anything. Like, look at this, this, this place is massive. Like, who doesn't want to walk everywhere and look at everything? Like, 
I'm getting, like, heavy rain vibes. If heavy rain was just a little bit bigger than what it was. You know what I mean? Heavy rain was good because its areas were like this, except they were... Ooh, card. Uh, judgment. Judgment day is upon us. That's what you would expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's, uh, one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day or personal day of reckoning. Every time, every step matters, every decision tipping the balance one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe you'll survive. Okay, heavy rain was uh, like compact enough so that like you can have these open spaces where you can investigate everything. Especially, like, Norman's spots where you're actually supposed to investigate everything. Uh, except they weren't this massive. Like, you could still do everything that you needed to do in that area and find everything. It's just, it did not, you know, feel like there was a bunch of empty space between each section that there was. And I feel like I just went backwards for some reason. <coughs> But, you know, living and learn, I guess. I've never played Until Dawn, so I don't know what that's like, what that story is like, if there's, like, personally speaking. Oh, that's great. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. I'm sorry, did I take my t too much time in the scrapyard for you, game? I'm sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to... Uh, I got put back here. Uh, the game literally forced me back here. Why? Did you see that? <laughs> I was all the way over there, and the game put me back because I uh, activated a sensor over here. And apparently that triggered that light. Even though I had never been through that light before. Really? Wow. I'd never gone to that area. Yeah, that's like I'm saying. Like, if they, if they wanted a cutscene like that to happen, then why didn't they force me down that way? You know? Discarded signage. A torn and broken remain of an old sideshow attraction. The way they're uh, intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. Does that give me any more hints on all my other stuff? No, nope, of course not. Why would it? <clears throat> What's this? Harem Scarum. Seeing this, Caitlin? <clears throat> oh yeah, by the way, Ryan's cut was definitely fatal. No doubt. Like, it hit a vital organ. And definitely he was bleeding out. Like I said, don't ever pull the knife out because it's going to just cause excessive bleeding, especially the areas that it hit. But I felt like in that situation it was a bit different. I don't know why in particular, but, you know. It also probably would have stopped me from being able to move a lot more accessibly I'd be in like that horrible situation that I was in. Give me a quick time event where it accidentally shoves the knife even further in. Oof, that would hurt a lot. It would not be fun to see. Um, okay. Okay, did I did I want to go here? I guess I didn't want to go here then. Um Alright, thank you, game, for leaving me with nothing here to really inspect. Is maybe the car? Nothing about the car. There's nothing back here? Why? That's what I'm saying. Like, give me something at least if I took the time and distance to walk there. Is there anything over here that I missed? 
Keelan's not really helping me look for this important piece of thing that we need. Look. <clears throat> oh look, the thing we need that's about to get crushed. Uh, whatever you do, that's gonna cause a lot of noise. So, you ever operated a crane before? You know. <laughs> Why did it glitch? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me. No, no, uh uh. Uh oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Can I have the gun with only one hand to shoot it with? Yeah, that's a smart decision. <clears throat> All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Actually yeah. went surprisingly uh, well. I think I found my calling. About time. <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score. Caitlin? Go. <laughs> oh no! Dylan, get the damn werewolf on the damn car! Uh, oh fuck! Hurry the fuck up! Slam the car! <sighs> Hold on tight, Kelly, Cait Caitlin. Hold on tight! Go, prime him, prime him, ready to drop the car. Dylan, drop the car, drop the car on him right now. Dylan, come on, help, Dylan. Come on, you rusty bitch. Uh. I win, I win. I win every time. That's enough silver, isn't it? <sighs> Fifty pounds of straight steel. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? 
to play me in the movie about how brave I am. <laughs> Don't push it. Okay. If you could shoot him with your silver bullet, I would finish the job. You gotta double tap so, him. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. <laughs> that was that was seriously a close call. I could have not gotten any closer. <clears throat> it's already been 45 minutes of recording this. Gee, many Christmas. Okay. Did not think it would be that long. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. <coughs> but that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Thank God Dylan was there, I guess. Holy cow, that was close. It's so dark in here, man. That's the switchboard. <clears throat> Surveillance room. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? Couldn't we just switch one of the fuses around? Like from, say, the surveillance room to the... Oh. What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. <clears throat> What'd you find? <laughs> oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. We know what's Have up you there. Have been it's... paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an <clears> escape <throat> route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Why aren't you doing it, Emma? Okay. Guess that makes sense. Like, there's another point on my character. This character is super, like, heroic when she needs to be, but as soon as somebody else is around to do her bidding, she just has them do it instead. <laughs> like, come on, man. You, so you said, let's go find so You go find something. You go up there and find out what that door's about. You alright? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, was, that was close. <clears throat> I like that room more than uh I like the basement. <clears throat> that way you have like a higher up area to look out from. Feeling better, Ryan? We are in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. <coughs> I might need to rest a bit. Can't. You'll feel better soon. Cool. 
I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. <coughs> sure. And another way out. Fine. <laughs> another way out. <clears throat> These chapters are getting pretty long, man. <clears throat> huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. How are you gonna no, kill Chris Hackett without silver with shells? Shh. Watch your step. Yep. <laughs> no, he's not moving anywhere. That's Chris Hackett. That is Chris Hackett right there, and he is currently chained. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's. <clears throat> oh my god! All of us fell through the floor! Nice! Literally watch your step. <clears throat> oh my god, Bobby's over here. Let me, let me, let me pause so I stop lagging here for a minute. Oh my god! Silver back mirror. Bobby! The gun! He looks pretty dead to me. Yeah, lag now, Gabe. Thank you. This is like the most important part of the game. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. <clears throat> That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. 
The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, <coughs> a gypsy, a transient. But you didn't tell us this earlier when we were in the prison? He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let at him go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. <coughs> we, we can help those who are still alive. That's all you wanted to do this whole time. Why the hell should I trust you? <clears throat> I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Above the law achievement. Where would we even find him? <clears throat> know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? <clears throat> well, that just happened. Wow. Wow, that just happened. <clears throat> you had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. It's you are the hag of the Haggett's quarry. I know you are. Time. We can still come out on top. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <coughs> look to the future, shall we? The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survive. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up <clears throat> to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely, but he may have his uses, though he won't <coughs> forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. That's understandable. So which is it? Choose. Judgment. Oh 
my god! One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Wow. One last time. <clears throat> Go back. Go back and end this. That is chapter nine completed. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to load it until I can pause it. Please don't break the game, I beg. I don't want my game to be broken. I, I'm playing as Max! What in the world? I get to play as Max! Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to rush this ending so that I can get to the next part of this where we play the final chapter of the quarry. If you got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll read them. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Whatever I Make. Bye-bye!